What's up guys, Jeremy with Everything iDevice, and in this video I just want to give you a bit of an update on the iOS 7 jailbreak and some of the tweaks. Um, now I know a lot of you are frustrated right now because you can't find any tweaks in Cydia that you know even work on your device, especially for the iPhone 5S or basically any device that has the A7 chip. Due to its 64-bit architecture, uh, almost nothing in Cydia is going to work with it. Uh, you know, things just have to be updated to be compatible with this iOS 7 jailbreak. Now, uh, there is a, you know, a small select amount of tweaks that do work that uh, I, I will have a link down in the description if you guys want to check out those tweaks. Um, but anyways, what the issue is this time around with iOS 7, the reason why when the iOS 6 jailbreak came out, uh, one, iOS 6 was not much different than iOS 5. I'm sure you all remember that UI. Um, iOS 7 is completely different than iOS 6. Uh, also, you know, there's there's a lot of new, you know, chips and uh, it's just, you know, iOS 7 is just completely different than iOS 6. Now, almost all of the tweaks in Cydia are designed for iOS 6, so of course they're not going to work with iOS 7 until they're updated. Uh, also, Cydia itself needs to be updated yet. Uh, Cydia is based off of the UI of iOS 6 and below, as you can probably see right there. That looks nothing like iOS 7. Uh, like I said, Surik had no idea that this uh, this jailbreak was coming out when it did. Uh, he does have, you know, the new Cydia in the works right now, if you guys want to check out his Twitter. But, uh, yeah, it's just not updated yet. Now, I'm not sure how Cydia is going to be updated. I'm not sure if it's going to be an actual update, you know, within Cydia itself, or if it's going to be its own separate thing or if you're just going to have to completely re jailbreak all together i don't know at this point um as soon as i find out this stuff or as soon as it comes out i will keep you guys posted as frequently as possible uh but mainly i wanted to cover in this video is tweaks now i managed to get flux to work yesterday for those of you that are familiar with that uh jailbreak tweak it worked yesterday but it doesn't work today so i'm not sure what the problem is there by default does not work uh it it's you know i can open it it has the ios 7 design but it does not work on my 5S yet. iFile does work. So iFile does work on the iPhone 5S. So that tells me it's basically going to work on any device on iOS 7. Uh, the only issue is is you cannot register you know, the premium version. I have paid for the premium version. I did it like two, three years ago, whenever it was. Uh, but for some reason, since it's not updated, I'm just unable to register it. But it still does function as normal, as basically I can go into, you know, Browse the entire file system of my device. So that's pretty neat. I'm glad that iFile does work. I like browsing around in those files and, you know, seeing all the different stuff in iOS 7. But like I said, there's just not much that's compatible. Now, the, the list that I have linked down below uh, is, you know, just a few select tweaks that certain people have gotten to work on different devices. Uh, so if one tweak works on the, you know, the iPhone 4S, it might not work on the iPhone 5, or if it works on the iPod Touch 5th generation, it might not even work on the iPhone 4S. You know, it just depends on your device, depends on the tweak. Um, even some of the stuff I've heard of people moving stuff around manually with, with iFile and they get tweaks to work, but I'm not going to cover that yet because that's just too much of a headache when all you got to wait is probably a couple days for an update to come out. Now, um, just be patient, guys. This is nothing new. Just have some patience. The updates will start rolling out for these tweaks. You'll start seeing, uh, you know, once we go into Cydia here, you go into the changes section. Uh, you know, be checking this on a daily basis. As you can see, the changes section, it'll show you all the new stuff in Cydia. Also, for those of you that are having the errors up here, I'm not sure if I'll get it in this video, but for those of you that keep getting errors, uh, that's a given too. That's basically the servers are overloaded with traffic. A lot of the times that's what that means, or the servers are down due to traffic, or they're down for maintenance, or, you know, whatever it might be. It's it's not that there's anything necessarily wrong with Cydia. It just, there's just tons of traffic. You, you got to remember, guys, there's thousands and thousands and thousands of people, you know, browsing through this right now and, and trying to figure out what tweaks work, what tweaks don't work. And it's going to cause a lot of issues, especially being that Cydia itself needs to be updated for iOS 7. So... Again, like I said, guys, just have a little bit of patience. The stuff will come out. It's going to be an epic jailbreak, probably the best jailbreak ever, I would say right now, because I think it's just going to be amazing with all the different tweaks on iOS 7, because I really do like iOS 7, and I think there's, you know, it's limitless when it comes to the tweaks. But anyways, like I said, the limited selection of tweaks that might work on your device, the link is down below if you guys want to check that out. Also, if you guys have found any tweaks that work 
on your device that is not listed there, comment on this video and I'll probably test it out myself and I'll update the list on everythingidevice.com. So it's just kind of an update news kind of video guys. As soon as anything else comes out, I'll keep you guys posted. Uh, so if you guys did enjoy this video, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That does help me out tremendously. And if you guys want to see more iOS 7 jailbreak coverage, be sure to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy with Everything iDevice and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.